Hi, this is Bruce with Z Group Energy. It is uh, August 19th, 2018. That's a Sunday. Um, I just want to give you a little bit of, of an update uh, regarding uh, Z Group Energy's uh, supercritical geothermal technology and our ability to augment existing power plants. Now, we've talked about this in the past. I've mentioned it in other videos, but I've never done a video exclusively about that. And I just want to bring those that are interested uh, in supercritical geothermal energy harvesting, uh, how this works, because it's an interesting capability. Uh, basically, uh, we have, and you might ask why, who cares? What, why, why would we even want to do that? Well, uh, there's, there's a lot of environmental debate about uh, pollution from fossil fuel plants. Uh, natural gas is fairly clean, but uh, people are upset about coal plants. Uh, there is a debate about nuclear plants and the, the issues associated with nuclear waste. Uh, the safety track record of nuclear plants is actually fairly good, but uh, when something goes boom in the night, uh, it tends to be catastrophic. Uh, you look at Chernobyl and Fukushima and Three Mile Island, and they, these are pretty serious things, and they frighten people. So a lot of states are moving to require existing power plants over a period of time to provide a minimum percentage of their electricity production via alternative energy methods. Uh, alternative, more specifically, meaning uh, sustainable energy, renewable energy, clean energy, that sort of thing. And uh, our supercritical geothermal technology fits and qualifies for those sorts of terms. Uh, sustainable, clean, our only environmental emission is clean water, uh, and certainly renewable, uh, not to mention cost effective. So basically, let's suppose that we have a existing power plant. Let's just pick on coal. Let's say it's a coal plant. And let's imagine that the state that this plant is in is demanding that they produce uh, some amount of their energy by some other means. Well, that's an enormous problem, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's a capitalization problem for the utility uh, to, to meet those requirements. I mean, how do they do that? And so how might this work with ZGE? Why would I even bother talking to you about it? Well. Our technology would allow a phased plan, okay, a phasing in of supercritical geothermal energy to be used as fuel to drive uh, steam turbines in terms of producing electricity. And doing so would allow us to reduce the amount of coal that would be used, okay? And uh, the good news is that the first phase of this retrofit, of this augmentation, if you will, uh, will result in cost savings. Those cost savings could be reinvested in the form of a sinking fund to capitalize future phases of augmentation, which could further reduce the amount of coal necessary. Uh, theoretically, all the way to zero. The plant could eventually be a 100% um, supercritical geothermal plant with its only environmental emission being clean water. So this allows an existing plant and other industries supporting, for example, the coal mining industries and so forth. I, I, we, is it practical to just shut these off, to put all these people out of work? To What do we replace it with? There is no technology available today, certainly not wind or solar, that can effectively replace these these uh, existing power plants. So we need a reasonable, cost-effective plan for doing it, and that's what ZGE offers, OK? And um, if, for those of you that are, have been following us that would be interested in this sort of thing, uh, you should be aware of this capability. And it can be cost-effectively done. And, um, 
It's something that uh, we think uh, the power industry should be aware of and should at least be looking at. If you'd like more information uh, regarding this, uh, you could go to our patent and look up our claim four. Uh, claim four of our U.S. patent, which is shown on our website, specifically authorizes uh, our technology to be used for the augmentation of power plants. Uh, in theory, the, the augmentation could be done directly, but uh, considering supercritical temperatures, which are temperatures above 374 degrees Celsius at pressures upwards of 221 bar as a minimum, I'm not aware of any existing power plants that have been designed to withstand those kinds of temperatures and pressures. So doing augmenting directly is probably not a very good idea at all. Uh, so the augmentation would actually be done uh, by adding heat, supercritical heat, to the boiler. Uh, this could very easily be metered into the boiler. The boiler would then function as a, a mixing tank in some respects where the supercritical temperature water would be put in. It would mix with the cooler water that's in the boiler until the temperatures and were uh, brought down enough to, to not overwhelm the existing plant at whatever temperatures and pressures it's designed to operate at. This can all be done very easily and very cost effectively and no changes at all would be made to the existing plant short of the boiler and the connection to it. So no safety protocols or systems beyond the boiler would be impacted in any way. Uh, so that's not really a concern with this sort of augmentation. Anyway, if you'd like to learn more about this, uh, please feel free to contact me at www.zgroupenergy.com. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. And certainly, if you're operating a uh, natural gas, coal-fired plant, or a nuclear power plant, and you'd like to, to see how to more cost-effectively meet ever increasingly stringent uh, EPA requirements and so forth, uh, please get a hold of me. We'd certainly love to talk to you and see what we can do. Thanks so much for listening.